Okay, if you guys are still with me and haven't fallen asleep at this point, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm just securing the fletching uh, just ahead of these two marks. Because what I'm going to do is later on, uh, I'm going to remove some of that thread here and just uh, and uh, rewrap it. But uh, you'll see that in a little bit. Uh, so it doesn't have to be neat or anything in the beginning here. I just want to secure the front of this fletching. And I uh, gave myself plenty of room as far as the, uh, the feather is concerned. This front part of the feather, I gave myself plenty of room for this wrapping just to secure the, the tips of the feathers. And I just eyeball this. I don't really measure. After a while you get the feel for how it should look. And since there's no glue I can make adjustments right now. Now the spiral wrapping uh, the best results on the spiral wrapping are uh, when you space these wrappings about a quarter of an inch apart. But I just eyeball that. I don't really put any marks uh, for the spiral wrapping on the, on the arrow. I did in the beginning for some of my arrows, but I don't do that anymore. I just guesstimate, but if you have a spacing that's wider than a quarter inch, it really doesn't hold down the fletching well enough. You'll get some wrinkles in here that are kind of annoying when you're uh, applying glue to the whole thing. Of course you can space these closer than a quarter inch if you want to. It just takes more time of course. And the shorter fletch <coughs> makes it easier to do this. That's why I trim these down. They're not full full height. Like I've seen on another video, uh, I think the feathers were glued down first, but they were still full height when the guy was uh, wrapping. I find it much easier with shorter feathers. Now once you get in the zone this goes much faster. Right now I'm trying very carefully to keep the spacing just right. And it pays off in the end to be careful uh, with this process. The fletching is almost as aggravating as the flint napping the, uh, the tips, the arrowheads. It took me a, a while to get to the point where I could fletch without pulling my hair out. With this type of method, you know, without any jigs or anything, 
Now, if I had to do a thousand of these, I don't know what I would do. I probably had to come up with some sort of jig. Which I, I might develop that and then show it in another video. But for now, I'm just going to uh, show you this technique. It can be done anywhere. You don't need uh, jigs or a special shop or anything. All you need is scissors and thread and uh, a place out of the wind and you're all set. On my own personal arrows, I don't really space, I don't space a wrapping this close. Just for the sake of speed, I, I guess the wrapping on my personal arrows is about 3 eighths to a half inch apart. Because it does take a lot of time if you space these wrappings real close together. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck these in, this thread in behind the, uh, the coils here, or the membrane. Just enough to hold it in place. Then I'll make the adjustments. I'll, I'll stop the video here and uh, zoom in and, and uh, film the rest.